If you're laying out China's welcome mat for U.S. businesses, this is the place to do it. The Bank of China's impressive New York headquarters near Bryant Park in Midtown Manhattan. The CIIE, or China International Import Expo, is one of the country's biggest trade fairs. Its focus is China imports. U.S. and China, our economies are highly complementary and we need each other. Eric Zhang knows this all too well. He runs the American Chamber of Commerce in Shanghai. Trade is good for both sides, right? We know for a fact that trade between countries is good for, for everybody. Now, we all know in the past few years we went through a difficult period when there was a trade war between the U.S. and China. And there were higher tariffs imposed on products from both countries. So as a business, you don't want to see more tariffs. You want to sell more to other markets. And for U.S. companies, we we'll love to market our products to the China market because China is growing. You know, it has 1.4 billion people. Among the guests were key players in corporate America who will be at CIIE this year. PepsiCo attaches great importance to our cooperation with CIIE and Huangqiao Forum, reflecting our long-term commitment to being in China, for China, and with China. And the skincare, makeup, and fragrance company Estee Lauder considers China to be a home market. Jane Lauder is the granddaughter of Estee Lauder herself. And I know that she would have loved to see how we were doing this in China today. Our company began our China journey in 1993 with our first sales counters in Shanghai. And for over 30 years, we have grown to serve millions of consumers in over 600 cities across China. We employ approximately 7,500 people in China, the majority of whom are women. On the other side of New York at the United Nations building, they're sending the same message to diplomats, government leaders, and NGOs. It's a separate promotion for the part of CIIE known as the Hongqiao International Economic Forum, discussing global issues like AI technology, climate change, and economic governance, among other topics. The, the purpose is really to promote foreign trade and promote investment. So many Chinese local governments will send their representatives to these forums to interact with foreign visitors. All sides signed a declaration of intent to make this year's CIIE the biggest and best ever. In 2023, well over 200 American firms and entities took part in CIIE, including, for the first time, the U.S. federal government, which built a pavilion dedicated to agriculture and attracted a lot of interest. Last year, at the 6th China International Import Expo, more than $500 million worth of U.S. products were sold to the Chinese market, just over the days of the expo itself, and that surprised everybody. China's message to U.S. corporations is the time to sign up for CIIE 7 is now. It's on between the 5th and the 10th of November, barely six months away. John Terrett, CGTN, New York.